The Super Bowl is among us, everybody. We got the Rams. We got pretty much the Bengals. It's just a matchup that all the I expected the Rams to be, get here. I didn't expect the, all the add-ons that they did get along the way. I didn't expect the another team to be here, aka the Bengals. Joe Burrow and Matthew Stafford go at it. So your boy here is gonna go ahead and really give my takes. So we're gonna look at basically bank some Bengal stats. We're gonna look at some Ram stacks. I'm basically gonna go ahead and give my prediction. Because this is legit some good stuff here. Anyways. Look at basically how the Rams went ahead and they did. They went ahead and they have did pretty good this season. 13 and 4. Or 12 and 5. I don't know what record they had. Matthew Stafford really finding his his team finally. Legitimately. It was all the talk of basically, oh, if Matthew Stafford had a team, he can get he can get somewhere. If Matthew Stafford had he did this, he can do anything. Like literally, I think people were just giving Matthew Stafford a lot of heck. Now, so far, we're going to look at the playoff stuff before we get into the actual regular season. But, here, here are a few things to go ahead and look here. In that, and first, first things first, Stafford in the playoffs so far has 905 passing yards. Cam Akers has 151 rushing yards. Cooper Cup, 986 receiving yards with OBJ behind him. Anyways, Von Miller has two sacks. This is legit pretty much a team that's... It, they've showed pretty much off and on potential. Anyways. If you look basically at, at, really at, at pretty much the Rams, this is a team that, like I said, Matt Stafford, he finally got the team he needed. And now, it was a test. Test was officially the test. Could he prove that he legit had a good offense? And it's safe to say that Yes, he went ahead and he did throw 17 interceptions, but he did throw 41 touchdowns with 4,886 yards. And and Matt went ahead, and he pretty much made, went ahead and he made, made to the playoffs on it first season with the new team, and basically pretty much breezed right through. <coughs> And I, but like I said, those those pretty much the premise of the story. Meanwhile, in the rushing standpoint, this is the team that Larry went ahead and didn't have much. I mean, rushing wise, I will give credit where it's due to Sony Michelle. He did lead the team in with with, with eight hundred forty five rushing yards, with uh, Henderson not being that far behind. But. They also went and they also have Cam Makers in the playoffs for the playoffs this time around. Which is very which pretty much all kinda of goes in and sends a shiver because wasn't wasn't he supposed to be pretty much out this that this entire season with the torn Achilles? Yes. Yes he was. But he goes ahead, defies logic, and just says Fuck science, I'm coming back into this bitch. What a legend. Receiving wise, Cooper Cup is the man, the offensive player of the year, just doing what he does. Meanwhile, out really outside of receiving yardage wise, I mean, there's Tyler Higby is a solid, but he won't be in the Super Bowl. Van Jefferson has contributed, and Robert Woods also has contributed. Robert Woods also won't be playing the Super Bowl due to the torn ACL, and then OBJ. 
you're going to be that second guy up. I'm going to be that guy here. Then the team in tackles was Jordan Fuller, a corner, mind you. Again, like basically 90 corner. You also have Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald. Not too many guys can say here. And the DB core was mainly let taken off by Taylor Rapp. And, of course, Mr. Ramsey himself. This is a team that breezed to, breezed to pretty much do the team, such as the Cardinals. They breezed through the Buccaneers and the 49ers to go ahead and make it to pretty much just make it to this championship game. But the crazy thing enough is that all those teams were wearing red. Now, they'll take on a Bengals team that, honestly, they shouldn't even, you can argue that they shouldn't even be here. But they went ahead, they figured that, they figured sh shit out. They they realized, we a good team. We know what to do. We confident. We gonna get the job done. And you know what? I'll be for real. Bengals, if you look at the Bengals stuff, it don't look that good. Like, they went, this is pretty much a lot of things that, Actually, this isn't this doesn't go ahead and it, it doesn't really make the Bengals a good team. But literally in the playoffs, they showed up. But you got to also give credit to J J Joe Burrow, who came back literally in his first season back from a freaking torn ACL. Those are 40, 4,600 yards, 34 touchdowns, wins comeback player of the year. Joe Mixon was Joe Mixon, as usual. And here's the crazy part. He legit went ahead and he nearly had three 1,000-yard receivers, bruh. He had Jamar Chase being Jamar Chase, T. Higgins being scary, Tyler Boyd playing up respectable stats. DJ Uzama might be playing tomorrow, so which is going to be good. That's um that's the time I'm recording this. Anyways. There's Von Bell. Jermaine Platt, Jesse Bates, Mike Hilton, W. Wuzier. And then of course the hand, Eli uh, Apple. He had two interceptions this season, but somehow this dude this is somehow in a freaking Super Bowl. This is a team that went ahead and they made it past they made it they made it past the Raiders. They made it past the Titans and the Chiefs to make it here. This is it. Talent wise, I think the Bengals can easily take the cake here. They have raw talent. They have talent across the board. They know what the heck to do. This is the team that literally is a suffocating, is a suffocating franchise. Plus, their sacking core is legit, is legitimate as well. They, they are legit raw. They are the favorites. That's that's people can go ahead and go understand. But there's one thing that. Bengals players lack that the Rams do have over them, it's definitely the experience. I mean, yes, this is Stafford's first legitimate playoff run, but he has experienced guys who've been to the playoffs before. Robert Woods may not be making it, may not pretty much go ahead and, and may not be playing the Super Bowl, but he was in the Super Bowl as a starting wide receiver. Cooper Cup, he's making his first Super Bowl appearance. Because 2018, he was basically was out for a bit with that 20 CL thing. But yeah, he he's made it to a, pretty much. He was on the Super Bowl squad. A lot of these guys, they the Rams have pretty much also the better defense as well, in my opinion. So this is really just a game to see how what is going to go ahead and come to. But overall, if I think if I were to choose one thing, it's going to be definitely experience because. Sean McVay, he's been in this situation before. This is his second Super Bowl appearance, and he basically has, he's pretty much going to have a plan. And if the Rams do get a lead at half, they do have a winning record in that category. So I believe that's going to be the case, and we're going to see tonight. So, anyways, as for my prediction, I do, I'm going to predict a Rams win by a score of a pretty much 28 to 23. And the reason why? Just the defense figures it out and they hold Joe Burrow in check.
they can send the they can send the rush really well. But they also have to make sure they don't let Jamar Chase be Jamar Chase. Anyways, that's it for me. That was the my Super Bowl prediction. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Peace.